Thank you, Mike. Uh, it's, it's just impressive. Uh, Mike came up and helped us in the committees uh, that we're talking to at the legislature, and uh, he's put a lot of effort into that, well-deserved, and it passed uh, unanimously, and uh, that's just a remarkable feat in the first year of legislation being introduced. Uh, remarkable. Our uh, next and last award is the Distinguished Service Award. The Distinguished Service Award is the highest honor by, given by the Iowa Medical Society. It is reserved for those physician leaders who have made outstanding contributions to our profession and to our organization. It has been awarded only five times prior to this evening. Tonight, we recognize the contributions of Dr. Tom Evans, President and CEO of the Iowa Healthcare Collaborative and past president of Iowa Medical Society in 2005. Tom Evans epitomizes a physician leader. His energy and enthusiasm for engaging physicians in practice transformation is unmatched. And I can stand for that for the last many years that I've known him, for at least four or five, I've changed completely. He's, he's infectious. He has good intentions and he's infectious. When Tom was president of IMS, he spearheaded a joint project between Iowa Medical Society and the Iowa Hospital Association, serving as the first chair of a statewide steering committee on quality and patient safety. From that, Tom founded the Iowa Healthcare Collaborative in 2005 with those entities. He's been instrumental in putting Iowa on the map as a national leader in driving healthcare safety and quality improvement. With his leadership at Iowa Healthcare Collaborative, the Hospital Engagement Network reduced early elective deliveries in our state from a baseline of 7% to less than 1% in a matter of two years. Hospital adverse drug events were reduced by more than 92%. Tom is the past president of the Iowa Academy of Family Physicians and a leader with the National Patient Safety Foundation and faculty with the Institute of Healthcare Improvement. He's been a tremendous leader for me. I, I happen to be his board chair for Iowa Healthcare Collaborative and have known him for the last several years on that. I just can't, I have to go off script for some of those things because uh, uh, he's been instrumental. Besides, he's a better biker than I am, which is always an issue. <laughs> I'm gonna close with a quote for, that Tom uh, for, perfectly captures his passion for physician leadership. Quote, we live in a time of great promise and opportunity. We can succeed or, succeed or fail based on how we choose to address these challenges. I believe physicians 20 years from now will laud us or damn us for the decisions we make. It's time for physicians to lead." Unquote. Thank you, Tom, for walking the walk and motivating all of us to lead in a big and small ways every day. I'm so honored to present my friend, Dr. Tom Evans, the IMS Distinguished Service Award. Please join me in congratulating. Thank you. I, um, I didn't know I was supposed to say anything, but that's never stopped me in the past. Um, I want to, um, it's so interesting when I look around the room here and I see just generations of physician leaders, uh, Bruce Tim Trimble, uh, uh, Siru Shirazi, some of the old dogs that have been around for a while. Sorry, Bruce, I had to say that. But, but then I also am so encouraged to see some of the other folks that are here, that, the, the medical students, some of the folks who've worked in the last couple of years, and I'm just so encouraged by the leadership that I'm seeing in the medical society. And I, and I want to just, I was looking at this sign here, it says 2015, and I was thinking about when I was president in 2003, and we were doing some pretty weird things. The, uh, the reason that we have the Iowa Healthcare Collaborative was, was basically launched in this organization. The whole concept that we have to lead. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but we're in an era of healthcare reform. Guess who has to do the reforming, right? And guess who has to lead that process? I think it's, uh, it's interesting today that I, we, Steve Berkowitz was our keynoter and he made this wonderful quote, he closed his presentation at the end that, to the world you may be only one person, but to one person you may be the world. 
And with regard to health care reform in this state, I mean, I look at what this, this medical society has done even in the last year. I mean, you've, you've epitomized leadership, you've transformed, you've made yourself relevant, and I think it's a new day for the medical society. But we're going to need the medical society to lead going forward. We're going to need physicians to lead going forward. So I'd leave you with a bit of a twist on the way Steve's quote went. I would say to the world, we may only be Iowa, but to Iowa, we are the world. And I think that we've got to go. So thanks for everything. I, I would be remiss if I didn't thank my best friend, my wife, Patty. Thanks for putting up with all this junk over the years. Thanks, everybody.